Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're jumping into my final BoxyCharm box of the month. For this, we're doing a Lux unboxing, and every time the Lux box comes, I forget how much stuff comes in it. But today we are jumping into the full December Lux box. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching. And don't forget to subscribe because I upload every other day, and that'll be the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So if you want to jump into all of these items with me, stay tuned. So as always, when we look at this box and we're going to see if it's really worth the value, this is the $60 after fees box. So as long as we get $60 worth of product that we like out of it, I would say it's a good box. I like to look at these boxes and say, would I be better off taking 60 bucks and going to Ulta or Sephora or Target, Walmart, Amazon, wherever you get your beauty products and spending it on something specific? Or are we better off getting the box? And most of the time I will say, I get the value out of the box, but I do also want to say that I'm not paying for it. This is not sponsored, but of course this is a PR review. So it's sent to me for reviewing purposes. So when I say like it's worth the money, I do want to also remind you it's not my money. It is just a figurative, is it worth $60? Jumping right in, this is going to be the Winter Lux. As you know, Lux is only done four times a year. And they do claim it's going to be more than a $275 value or something like that. Uh, this is variation 401. So definitely a ton of variations this month. You know I prefer when there's not a crazy amount of variations because it means all of us kind of get the same things. But we're going to jump right in. First item out of the box comes from Herbivore and it is the Cloud Jelly Serum. This retails for $48, a non-sticky hyaluronic acid alternative serum that helps dry dehydrated skin bounce back. Tremula Mushroom and Hyaluronic Acid Alternative and vegan collagen leave the skin feeling hydrated and plumped. Now I have used this before and I'll be honest, I liked it. I, I didn't love it. I, I feel like when it comes to my serums, hyaluronic acid is an amazing ingredient. I love what it does, but a like strict hydrating serum is never something I gravitate towards. I love when my retinol has hyaluronic in it. I like when my vitamin C has hyaluronic in it. But it's very rare that I go out of my way to say I need a hyaluronic acid serum in my routine. So I have tried this. It's a good product. If you're severely dehydrated, I think you might like it. My skin has always been very hydrated, but I get oily just from an overactive sebum gland, which is kind of normal for men my age. So getting a little shiny throughout the day regardless of hydration means I really don't need additional hyaluronic. So that's going to be a pass from me. But if you are any older than I am, drier skin, more mature skin, you might really like this product. The next item comes from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is going to be the Face Palette retailing for $58. This essential trio delivers a lightweight, buttery feel and seamless blend, illuminating all skin tones for a long-lasting and natural radiance. That's going to be the colors inside. The easy to apply buildable formulas, the Luxe Portable Glam Compact provides you with unbeatable, one-and-done solution for subtle or supercharged looks. Looking at this right here, I think this is absolutely stunning for my complexion. It says for all skin tones, but I can tell you right now, if you are darker than me, this will not work for you. This is very clearly not a shade-inclusive product. This is something that, you know, maybe there's a medium and a deep version as well. I don't see anywhere saying that this is like a light version. It says it's universal. I don't think it's universal. So I will be trying that out in the uh, try-on video with all of this month's makeup. But I will say, again, if you're darker than I am, it will not work for you. Next, we have a palette from Mali Beauty. This is the Best Dressed Lids, Neutral and Bold. It is a 14-color palette retailing for $45. And that's going to be the color right there. Lots and lots of jewel tones and tons of shimmer. Whatever the occasion or your mood, there's a shade that's perfect fit for this in this 14 well palette. You'll have your pick of matte and shimmer shadows with neutrals and bold colors. Every shade works beautifully alone and plays well together. Use a light shade on your lids and add depth with a darker shade on your eyelid. Or pair a matte lid with a shimmer under your brow and at the corners for additional dimension. I do not like the way that looks. I don't like a matte lid with shimmer out here, but you do you. Looking at the colors, I'm excited to play around with this palette because the one, two, three mattes in there are your, like, universal taupey tones, but I'm not seeing a ton of, like, dark colors to get dimension. I would love, like, a chocolate brown in there, but I still think it's going to be very pretty, but, like, even these three dark shades down here, they're all shimmer, so... I think we can get a good look at it here, but just looking at the colors and the fact that the darkest matte is, you know, barely darker than my complexion, 
I don't think this is going to be something that works for all skin tones. Next, from Keys Soul Care, this is the Harmony Mask, a purifying and hydrating charcoal face mask scented with soothing sandalwood and formulated with Manuka honey and gold foil, retailing for $30. I have most of this line ever since the Ipsy X Takeover. I've gotten a few of the products in BoxyCharm. There's really been quite a few, and I have liked everything I've tried so far. So I'm really excited to try this out as well. I say this every time I unbox Keys products. The packaging is so stunning. I don't have a ton of masks open, so I actually don't feel bad opening this either. It smells divine. It has a little bit of a sheen to it from that gold foil. So I'm really excited to play around with that. It's just one of those products that smells really good. So we're going to give that a try, and I will keep you updated on how it goes. The next product, I'm going to need you to tell me down below, gimmicky or exciting? From Youthphoria, this is the BYO Blush. Meet the award-winning, first-of-its-kind, color-changing blush oil. The BYO Blush is the secret of everyday no-makeup makeup. It is a universally flattering blush that reacts to your skin's natural pH and instantly gives you the perfect shade of natural flush, retailing for $36. Now... I had to swatch it on my hand, and I didn't put a lot on, but I'm going to do some more because I was that excited just to touch it. It is this obnoxious green color, but the second that we apply it to the skin, and I just put some right there, it instantly starts to go pink, and I'm just going to pat this out a bit. It's really hard to do this backwards. And it's a really pretty pinky tone. I will say I agree that it is a very natural flush. That is not a color that's going to be like a bold blush tone. But I'm going to give it a second to react with my skin's pH. Oh, it's already pinker on my finger. Yeah, it is definitely deepening up a bit. I wish the light wasn't washing it out so much. But it's definitely a pretty pink tone. So really excited to try that out. All right, next up is a product I'm super familiar with. I've actually owned this before, but not in this color. This is the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade, this one is uncensored, it is the like universal red tone. A weightless long wear liquid lipstick in a soft matte finish, born in a range of head turning shades that look incredible on all skin tones, retailing for $26. First thing, I love the applicator on this product, it is such a precision lip shape, like I love how round that doe foot is. It is such a thin formula, so it doesn't feel heavy on the lips. Definitely dries down to a satin matte finish. I used to have it in the mauve -y tone and in a deeper purpley color, so I'm really excited to have it in red. I feel like we're going to do a holiday glam with a red lip in my next video when we do a full try-on of all of this makeup. All right, almost done. Next, we have the Dear Midnight Set to Last Setting Spray. This is a lightweight, alcohol-free, and hydrating setting spray to lock in your makeup, ensuring you're to last you're set to last all day, retailing for $30. We've tried a few things from this brand. It's mainly been like eyeshadow primers, but... All right, so it's not like a super soft mist, but it's not an aggressive mist either. Yeah, so it's going on very soft. It has a really nice scent to it. What is that smell? It's almost like leather sandalwoody, almost like the mask was. But it goes on very, very, like, explosive mist without being aggressive. So I'm really excited to give that a try, too. And lastly, from Dew of the Gods, we have the Good Skin Challenge. We challenge you to prioritize you. This weekend, you're the main character. Dew of the Gods has formulated two rich, luxurious, and purposeful lace sponge sheet masks designed to restore, restore your skin's bounce, moisture barrier, moisture barrier and youthful glow. Uh, while preparing your skin for the next seven days ahead. This is a $40 retail value, and they're labeled a Saturday mask and a Sunday mask. So it's almost like a glow prep mask and then a Sunday recovery mask. I think that's such a cute idea. For $40, that's 20 bucks a sheet mask, so that's a bit pricey. So I'm going to have to think on that because that's expensive. But I do think that that's a really cool concept and excited to give that a try too. All right, so all in this box at a retail value of $313. And just looking at what's here, there's, you know, two or three products that I'm not crazy excited for, but you know, for the most part, there's definitely some great items in this box. 
Not super psyched about the Mally palette. The Herbivore product, like I said, good, but not for me. But all of that aside, I think this is a really cool box. The Luxe boxes do tend to be some of my favorites. So as always, let me know your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!